What's up, YouTube? So today I thought I'd do a quick video. I wasn't going to do a video, but I said, why not? Let me just do a quick video on this while I'm here. So I'm putting in these new, uh, I got these floor mats for the Model Y. It's a uh, Tesla floor mats directly from Tesla. Um, I don't like aftermarket stuff. A lot of people buying those 3D Max spider mats. They're buying... Uh, all those Tesla Roddy, all those other, you know, online Amazon places, online spots to have all of these third party accessories. I don't like it. Look at look at these dirt. All of this. That's a mix of pollen and I think it's ash. I don't know if you're in the northeast, but it's pretty bad out here. The smoke from the Canada wildfires is crazy. It smells like a freaking house is on fire nearby. You smell the smoke very strong. You to see the smoke in the air. It's it's like an orange haze of cast out here. And it's it's pretty bad. And it's starting to soot up the car with little white specks of ash or smoke. I don't know. But it smells. It smells very bad. Uh, anyway. So I bought these uh, Tesla floor mats directly from Tesla. I like OEM stuff. If I buy any accessory, it's going to be OEM. The the, the front uh, cargo, front console area, the inserts, I'll get them from Tesla. Rear cargo mats from Tesla. Any item I get aftermarket, I want it to be from Tesla because I like OEM stuff. It fits the way it's supposed to fit. It does what it's supposed to do. And if there's any issues, I just go to Tesla, they replace it. But anyway, I like these because they're manufactured by WeatherTech, but made directly for Tesla. You see it has Tesla embossed on the floor mat. These are the OEM regular mats. Not bad, but the driver's side one is horrible. This little flap thing here, this little flap thing here be it's annoying as hell. It comes off like crazy. You get in and out the car, it just rips up, rips off. So this is a horrible design. I need to do something about that. But anyway, I'm getting rid of these. As I said, ordered it directly from Tesla on the app. And uh, this is Tesla on them. Supposed to fit like a glove. We shall see. This else is in the box. Tesla all weather interior liners. Made in the USA. Good old America. But yeah, like I said, if you want to get some good all-weather mats, these are great. I don't like those 3D Max Spiders because they have this, that big old 3D emblem all over it. Right in the front, looking all gaudy. That's not my thing. Let's see how these fit. Let me put the phone down real quick. Well, I got, let me turn this off. Got Gracie's Corner playing in the background. That's that life you live when you got kids. Your TV on cartoons all day. Your car radio. Gracie's Corner, Coco Melon. It's crazy. Anyway, let me see.
Got it in. If it's pretty good, it has a Velcro on each corner. It has Velcro as well as these spikes here. To hold it in place. It has a lip here to hold anything spills. It stays inside. It won't come out. That's the passenger side. Oh, I had that little trim issue that I had here on delivery. Look at look at this. That's not pollen, folks. That's from this smoke. Anyway. I had a little trim issue here where that scuff was. I don't know if, I should, if you saw the last video. Made a service appointment. They replaced this whole bright work piece for the chip out that I had here on the corner. Did a good job. That was the only issue I had on delivery was just that one little piece there. It wasn't even that big of an issue because after the first day, I didn't even, I forgot all about it until the service appointment came up. Like, oh yeah, they got to fix that didn't even notice it. I could have just left it so I wouldn't have broke the factory seal and left everything the way it was but small cosmetic blemish might as well just get it done they're gonna do it for free a little off here that's what happens when you get things replaced but anyway Same thing, Velcro here. Have the little spikes here to keep it from moving. Nice and easy. Fits like a glove. This one goes in if it's way better than the driver's side one. Oh, everybody talking about that hardware 4 BS. I got hardware 3. Build date on ours is May 2023. Sometime in May, this car was built. I believe it was built like early May. We did not get hardware, hardware 4, but it doesn't matter to me. I will never in my life use full self-driving. I don't trust. I like to drive myself. I don't trust that full self-driving stuff. Anyway, about to put the back one in. So it's just a quick video. Show you guys. I took out the OEM carpet floor mats. Bought the Tesla OEM direct from Tesla. And that's the floor mat that I recommend. If you're going to get a floor mat, just get the old weather ones that's sold by Tesla themselves. Can't go wrong with them. They look great. They say Tesla on them. They look great. They work great. Can't go wrong with them. Two car seats, two kids, living that life. 